Thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. Right Honourable Speaker, yesterday we, for some reason, did not have a meeting of minds on a matter that is quite imperative. We have discussed in this House missing Ugandans on account of their political affiliations, people who are in jail for years, some over three years, because of their political persuasions. Trial has not kicked off because there's no evidence against them. And like I called it yesterday, it's persecution as opposed to prosecution. Right, Honorable Speaker, these matters are in the public arena. We have tabled those lists here in Parliament several times, forwarded the same to the Prime Minister, forwarded the same to Uganda Human Rights Commission, and they are also on court record because these people are being processed through courts of law. Madam Speaker, I, I seek your indulgence so that I, for the umpteenth time, table those lists again, so that there be no excuse from, from anybody, because there are people who are saying, you see, NEP is not availing these lists, uh, because all of a sudden there are some people who are saying they care so much about these people. It's good that they now agree with us that these people are simply being persecuted. Otherwise, if there was any offense they committed, three years down the road, somebody should have been tried. So it's good that they are seeing what we have been saying. So, Right Honourable Speaker, for there to be no pretense and for there to be no excuse, especially from government officials who sit here with us in Parliament, where we have tabled these lists, I seek your indulgence that I table these lists again so that the Right Honourable Prime Minister, the Attorney General, Minister for Justice and Constitutional Affairs, and anybody else, anyway, who has interest in this matter, the same way we do have interest in this matter, and thinks they can pick it up, they will then have access to the record. There should be no pretense, Right Honourable Speaker. That's the procedural indulgence that I seek, Right Honourable Speaker. Thank you. Now, Honourable Senyon, in the Parliament, when colleagues come here to submit, they are not pretending. They mean serious business. Uh, yesterday, the Honorable Baram raised this issue. The Honorable Baram has not been a government official, has not been a member of parliament. These are issues we are giving to government officials, to anyone, okay, and had not received any prior copy of those lists. So I took it that he was asking in good faith. And to me, considering how we've grappled with this issue, anyone who can put a block anyone who can use their own tactics, it might be tactics, their influence, their, we give them chance, okay? So that these young people uh, who are alleged uh, to be uh, in prison can be, uh, 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 can be helped. So I know, please, the speaker is speaking. You don't interrupt the speaker when he's speaking with procedure. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, I know we received the copy, but for it to be witnessed by the Honorable Baram, okay, and I ensure that indeed he receives it before he leaves here. Uh, Honorable Senior, you can lay on the table the copy you have. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. You know, yesterday when I mentioned the issue of orientation, some people thought I said it in bad faith. We all do need it. When we got here in Parliament, we had to be oriented, and we continue to learn, you know, so... Uh, it's a good thing that when new members do join us, if there is information they require, maybe they should be helped, where to access it. Because like you have rightly said, Right Honourable Speaker, we table those lists severally, and so they are within the records. However, for there to be no excuse anymore, I would like to lay on table, uh, number one, the list of NUP supporters on remand in various courts, the likes of Olivia Lutaya and others who have been held for over three years, trial has not kicked off. And we have been demanding and continue to demand that they be released. Whenever the procedure for laying, you just read the document and you lay. Right, Mr. Speaker, I was simply explaining the document that I am laying. And so I have laid that list. I'd like to also lay the list uh, of missing NUP supporters, which has John Bosco Chibalama and others, who, by the way, the Prime Minister told us was arrested and she knows where he is. I lay on table, right, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. 
You know, colleagues, managing politicians is a difficult job. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, but, uh, please. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still talking. The speaker is heard in silence. You know what the rules say. <laughs> then after, okay. So, uh, honorable colleagues, thank you, thank you, honorable senyonyi. Uh, I, I think this is okay, honorable colleagues. And, and it's courtesy. Okay? And uh, I urge you, honorable colleagues, you know, the best way to win an argument on this floor of parliament is by being courteous to each other. The, that way you win many hearts. You win, you know, the moment you do that, then we focus on the argument. Okay? Uh, thank you, honorable senior. Uh, please, clerk, ensure that a copy is formally given to the honorable Baram Bargahara as he requested. Okay? Uh, procedure I had honorable Enos had, but I hope it's not on this issue because this is a closed no, issue. No, no. Okay. It's on. Uh, said we should not comment on any, on uh, what Lop had commented. But right on our speaker, my request to Lop. Right on our speaker, even us members of NRM feel for those people who are in custody. We request that when we get volunteers who are ready to intervene in this thing, let's put politics outside this, and get people ready to help. But what happens, right, Honorable Speaker, on most occasions, when somebody is moving towards getting a solution, now you see the party coming in, people trying to play politics here and there. So, right, Honorable Speaker, through your office, given that LOP now has presented, has tabled, and has said, that is going to work with the members who are ready to intervene. We request that this time we don't want politics to get involved. Let's solve this. Whether it's an NRM person is solving it, whether any other person is intervening, let's have it right on our done. Thank you. Honorable Tinka, there is no one on the floor, Honorable Senyonyi. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Point of order granted. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, I have tabled the lists, and you have advised that whoever wants to have access to these lists. Honorable oh, Senyonyi, please just. Let, so, just, just allow me to raise bit. my. No, just raise it a bit. Rule 78 of our Rules of Procedure. Point of order applies when there is someone on the floor. Now I don't have anyone holding the floor. But then also, there is when we have order to do with like decorum in terms of dressing. That's why I was insisting. I thought you've seen someone maybe who has no tie, someone putting on slippers. That's why I was allowing. Okay? Okay? So, you get it. But if it is on the matter which we have just finished, never colleagues, let's, let's close this matter. Let us not exchange. My brother... Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Let's close this matter. Honorable think I hope it's not on the same. Uh, right, Honorable Speaker, <laughs> for the record, I am moving under Rule uh, 7 and 8. Uh, because uh, I'm finding what we are discussing strange, and I will need your guidance. Uh, we have the amnesty law in this country. Uh, I was not privileged to hear the submission of the good addition from Bunyoro yesterday, uh, but with the lists laid on the floor of the house, I am asking myself, uh, when the lists are laid on the floor of the house on the request from Honorable Baram Barugari, is, are we handling some kind of amnesty process? Are we handling some kind of amnesty process? Because as far as I know, when you are suspected to commit a crime. You are produced before courts of law and a due process is followed. 
It is those who, who choose to ask for amnesty and formally apply for it in the Amnesty Commission. In the Amnesty Commission that uh, are given amnesty. So uh, maybe I, I said I was not privileged uh, to hear the submissions from my honorable colleague. I said a good addition from Bunyoro. Uh, was he applying for amnesty? Thank you. Honorable Tinka Simire. Another good addition from Bunyoro <laughs> to this house. The Honorable Bargahara Baram said here on the, on, on the floor yesterday that he would also, now as a member of cabinet, he would want to be appraised on this matter and see how he can contribute his effort, like how other people have been contributing their effort. So the information provided here is for him to also add the effort on the other efforts that have been going on to solve the matter. So to me, as long as someone knows he's going to add value, now he, by the way, now he has authority. Hey, this is not the baramu we knew of. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Yesterday he reminded us, he said, I'm a full minister now. <laughs> so we only need to wish him well. And we give him all the support necessary. You never know uh, where his hand can reach. So let's give him that support. Now, honorable colleagues, uh, today we have a special guest. We have a special guest in the gallery. In the VIP gallery. Honorable Kawanda, we have a special guest first. <laughs> uh, this special guest is uh, on a very personal note. And uh, honorable colleagues, I implore you, if you have a special guest or what, you should always bring them here. They see what you are doing. Uh, this is Mr. Bevaze James, who is in the VIP gallery and stand up for recognition. He is my primary school teacher. Uh, he, he, he taught me from primary four to primary seven. Now, when I was saying, he's asking how much book he gave me. Uh, uh, whatever he did to me shaped me into what I am today. That's why I picked on him. Uh, when I was in primary four, and don't interpret it to mean child labor, <laughs> he appointed me a salesman. Uh, to get additional income, he would make pancakes. And you know those pancakes which are wrapped in banana leaves? You know how good they are. Uh, and I would be staring for him during break time and at the close of school. And then I make accountability the next day. Now, issues of transparency will be discussed later. <laughs> huh? but, but from that, I learned that you can, you, you, you can make a profit. You can do something and you benefit from it. Because he used to give me a commission, only that the commission was in the form of pancakes. <laughs> so, so I would consume all, huh? I would consume it all right away. I remember we had agreed for every 10 pancakes, he would give me one. So I would, uh, 10%, which was... Uh, I think I was a good negotiator at that young age. So he would give me that much. And uh, at the end of the day, I, could, uh, I would be having like four pancakes. Of course, at that time, we were just admiring. So, but you, you would give one to the one you admire, one or two. It would settle that bill of admiring someone. And then you also remain with some. So you can see, this is where, I, and I think each one of us has such a story. Yes, uh, uh, admiring, yeah, you start admiring, Ari. Then you go into the real things 
much later when you are regularly around. Okay? So honorable Beatrice Sanyua. Yeah. Thank you, honorable colleagues. I felt I should introduce. So he's a special guest to me today. And please join me once again in welcoming. Thank you, honorable colleagues. Right Honourable Speaker and Members, recently His Excellency the President of Uganda made some changes in his cabinet and also in UPDF, where Honourable General Eruero, according to him, was promoted to now senior residential advisor. I'm just seeking your clarification and maybe that of the Attorney General, whether one can be a member of Parliament and at the same time a presidential advisor. Because as far as I know, a presidential advisor is a public servant. And uh, we, we need to know, did he reject the other position or is he illegally? Thank you so much. Oh, he's a Attorney General, you can help us on that. Thank you very much, uh, Right Honorable Speaker. Uh, right Honorable Speaker, I must say that uh, General Erelu is well within his place to be here because he's a public servant. And to advise the Honorable Member that we are also public servants, ministers. We are not civil servants. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm very, very sure. <laughs> I'm very sure this was a deal between General Reru and Honorable Kavanda so that we can confirm both positions for General Reru. So they are ever seated together in that corner. They are the best of friends. Uh, as long as he does not draw a salary of a senior presidential advisor. He's already having a salary of a member of parliament as long as he doesn't draw another salary. Uh, he is in a perfect position. Thank you. Uh, next slide. Honorable Rusa Kero. Yes, there is an issue brought to my office which I wanted the Attorney General to handle early before I go for other issues. Orwalero, Nzizemu, Okutebulinga Parliament, list is it Wale, Teda, Izava Nafe. Ababu zivuwa o, nga John Bosco Chivarama, o chitiwa nabanja ya tugama antio ya manyi wajali, tuchamu banja, tumugamba mutuwe, John Bosco Chivarama na abalala. Ndesene listi, ezabu abali makomera agenja, uluwa Olivia Lutaya na abalala, abasibidua, abamu okusoba mumiake isatu. Msango jabo tejita andikanga, ulukubanga tewali ujuli zivalumiriza, ulukubanga tebaziza msango go, na go na. Tuze tuvanja aba antubano, nisonga zino juzi tuwazi tuwala ni mukoti, uh, nga tugamba koti e kake government okuta abantu bano no kutuwa bachibalama na abalala babuzi bwao endala zicha alimu nazo mu koti masho list zino twaziteka mu parliament ni tuwako wichiti wa nabanja atoni general na abalala na tuwa na Uganda Human Rights Commission ina chi iranga je zili eyo na insanji zino tuina banafe abalaga anti bo munange bakola nyo nti bo Abantu bano baba fako nyo. Ate chuna chuchu nungu kubanga. Chila ganti baki riziganya na fe. Tuze tu gama anti government yeno. Etulugunya abantu. Ekuwa atabo. Abata jiwa gida. Nebateke yuzi mzisef house yezi. Ababa ile luzira nechitala. Nebaba ile yu dale yu miaka. Esa tunokuwe yungida yu. Awatali musango. So chuchu nungu ntipata nisokulabe. Ayu intupe tuze tuwa gida ko. Ngatuba anja. So. Nzize mo kuzide etanate. Waleme kube la uluwe kwa so. Kubanga tuina wama wabade waga manti. Listi temuzi tuwa. Na ye. Of course wanafa wama wakilize. Ukubaya ambako. Uh, okuteke ila. Ensonga zinu zidu kanyizi waziti ya. Kubango liwa wama mpia mpala menti. Mpia mkabineti. No mtu wama zeyo muwezo. Kuma hizo muya ambako. Mtikakati. Evi nito imu biobu uza. Uwechiti wanaba anja. Prime Minister mkama ho. Listi heza azirina. Genda ya zikuwe. Ne wano mu parliament record zitu wazita ikayo. Ila wano uoita eno office joge ndako. Okufuna list yezu. So, ngapo itutia bayamba ya ambako. Okuyiga insonga zino. Ngami entikali. Walumekube ila uluwe kwaso. 
list yezo kanziko miyo na te. Eda mukuziko miyo na menti parliamenti eweko prime minister list yenda la kubanga already tuwa muwada atoni general internal affairs minister no mtu omu lala yena yena yari agade kulist yeno oba minister oba presidential advisor oba RDC oba ni abantu mwona abali yeyo haba uliranti list yeno bajeta kubanga baza haba munga baga amba lopu tuwe list zita demu parliamenti kakati haba kanya nafe ndi government yeno bieko la bichamu etuluku nyaba ntu wapata kanya na yo neba teke yu makomira watali musango bachibalama naba la neba buzao miaka kati na na unu kusoba mu haba haba kiliziga nya nafe batu higateko kusonga zimu ndi hati deuza amirundi ebili emu eliku kumina munana bachibalama naba la la haba habu zivu ayo then list ya habo awali makomera insonga zetu following ako ilika haba antu atano mba tano ni hata haba antu wanu atano mba haba tano luwe tuke ndo bacha alida batu gama ante yu makomera jebali wali yu na haba la la haba teki buwaya haba haba soka yu soka kati neba nutuli mba funako information kutuna malo kufuna information yu yu na yu na list tuja za update inga na ye at least zinozo zika kasibwa haba antu wanu jebali makoti yu ni makomera Neba no kumi no muna na wapa abu zibu wao Atinga ni government kiliza anti baba siba angawo uchiti kwa nabu banja boya ga Bane mleke kubuza abu zibu wa Ngabu ingami tu wali waba antu waba mu Aba gala ukulaga anti bakula nyo njini dala Juzi tu wali kukotu masho Ida nagena neba waka wanangi Kukwe imidida bana feba nwa olivia lutaya na aba lala kuruwachi Aba zade babwe Aba inganda za abwe Aba amina aba chala babwe Bage ndo kube imidida Kukotu masho Negamba nti Abantu wano tebasani de Kubei midida Kakati Pene tu gambo kisoki la dale chuchicha Ogambo tiyanti umzade omu Nchu mchala we Mganda we nachi tebasani de Tebawe uka chimala Nene ingamba wakaba nange Fetu gende kali na fetu vei midide Tula uba koti Inagamba nti na fetu sani de So koti Koti masho ya genda kuwe nsala ya yonga kumi na tano Aaaa O kulabo ba fetu sani, doba na fetu sani de. Ida wetu ba fetu sani de. Tuwa gala kote tu wuli de. Ania sani do kwe imidira ba ntuwa no. Gutu ba tuwa lete da. Na iye nga wetu wuli da anti. Olokuma nga kote tuwa jiteka mukatu. Tuwa jiteka kuchisengi nga tuga amati. Kakati na finga waka pala me. Tuwa wude yo. Mutu wuli doba na fetu sani de. Tuwa wuli de konti. Bagiza wa kulabo anti ya ba ntuwa no ba tegwa. Kati wali wa babi wuli de. Biyo nti ya ba ntuwa no ba na atiro kutegwa. Kanchivuki de. Ndagenti nze nta dewe mbe da. Ni babata, babi hila yo mpolitiksi, mbalekeba kolewe waga lokola, na ye, fetusigala tuba anjaba ntuba no, bate ebwe, haba ababu zibuwa wa chibalama na abalala, na banja batuwe kubango mainje bali ngabu wa gamba. Kos, ngabu etuze tu gamba, chaba ntuba ntuba ina musangugo na. Elolibu wa vayonga mkozi wa government, na gamba nti, kali, njabu geza ako nange, okogela nono, okogela noli, okulaba ntiba tebwa. Akiri ziganya na fenti, haba ntuba no, ntiba ina musangugo, wangu mtu wa ino musangugo. Haba kubiwa mumbu kaza mateka, obujuli zinebule etebua, na hoze sebua. Neka timiaka jise satu, tuwalibu juli zibule etebua. Kupanga teba ina musango. So kakati ya bantua haba gama, nti jako gira noli, jako gira noli, bakiri ziganya na fe, di government ya abwe, cheko la chichamu, echo kutulugunya haba bantua bataju wa gira, no kubateke yu makomera, awatali musango, awatali bujuli zibu na. So chirunji, nti bakiri za chetuze tu gamba. Ilaka tusubiri nti bajia kuma ku government ya abu, bayi wa gama nti banangi. Mulikira wakutulugunya haba nansi, na abo abataba wagira. I have tabled in parliament two lists. One of missing persons, including John Bosco Chivalama, who the prime minister said uh, was arrested and she knows where he is. I've also tabled a list of missing persons uh, of others who are in jail, Olivia Lutai and several others who have been held in jail for over three years. For no offense whatsoever. And that's why yesterday I called it persecution as opposed to prosecution. This is not the first time that we are tabling this list here in Parliament. We have tabled this list here before. We handled, handled the same list to the Uganda Human Rights Commission. These same lists are within the court process because these people are in court. But we said, let there be no excuse because I've been hearing some voices out there. Some people, workers of government and other excited people really, who are saying, "Lop, produce these lists and we follow up these matters. So I didn't want anyone to have any excuse. So I brought them again, okay? As we help these people to learn how these processes operate, because if you're new in parliament, if you're new in cabinet and, and so on, let them accept that they need to be helped, to know that when there are certain documents you require, you go to your boss, the prime minister. She has those lists. 
or you can go to the gov uh, parliament uh, records office and you can be directed which door, which office that is, and you get those lists. But as we help them to learn the ropes and all of these different processes, I said, let me table another list, a fresh one, okay? Similar to what we have been tabling, so that nobody gets to have an excuse. We continue to demand that these people be released because they don't have any offense they have committed. If they committed any offense, surely three years down the road, you should have produced this evidence in court, but they have not produced any of this evidence in court. They have denied them bail, and that's why I, together with colleague members of parliament, went to the court martial the other day to stand surety for these people because the court martial rejected their parents, their spouses, and other relatives as surety, saying they're not substantial enough. So I told colleague members of parliament, let's go and stand surety for these people. Let's see if court martial will say that even us, we are not substantial enough, and then we shall demand from them to tell us who is substantial enough. If parents, if spouses, if national leaders like ourselves are not substantial sureties, who is substantial enough? So that ruling is going to be given on 15th. We are waiting to see. And um, as we have been hearing, we understand that the court martial is really pressed against the wall. Because now, we came as leaders to stand surety for them. So we understand that they are working to see that they release them because they are pressed against the wall. What excuse are they going to give us? So when some people in government hear that these people are about to be released, they want to jump onto that issue and make it seem like, you know, they're the ones that have made the release happen and that kind of thing. There'll always be those excited people. That's okay. But on our end, we said, let there be no excuse whatsoever. Uh, and that's why I have tabled those lists again. So the list of missing persons has got 18 people, including John Bosco, Chibalama, and others. And as I've said, Prime Minister Robin Anabanja knows where they are because she told the country John Bosco Chibalama was arrested. She knows where he is. And we are demanding that she releases him. The people who are in jail, the list we have is of 55. Uh, some have since been released uh, because we, we keep following up in court and so on, so some have since been released. But even these 55, whenever we visit them in jail, they tell us that there are some others in jail who are narrating to them their stories, how they were arrested and so on. So we are picking information about all the others and we shall keep following up.